everyone, it's Kelly Kahoot, and I am back with one more Christmas card for Honeybee Stamps. And I was so excited to use this Oh Come Let Us Adore Him huge stamp that covers the whole front of your card. But I wanted to do a winter scene, and this is inspired by another paper crafter. I can't take all the credit um, myself and I'll tell you about her in just a little while but I started out by using some Molotow and that is a masking fluid that you can use to mask off areas that you don't want covered with ink or watercolors or paints or anything of that sort so I did mask off a little Christmas star there at the top and I'm using some broken china distress oxide to do a sky area. I left the bottom of that cardstock um, white because it's going to be a snowy winter scene. And so I am just layering on, not being too careful to get that just right. Um, because I'm going to spritz it with water so it looks a little snowy. And I'm being very careful when I go around that star because you can... Um, scrape it up or pull it up either with your fingers or your uh, blending tool. Um, so I'm being very careful around that. So I have that broken china all smoothed on. I'm going to clean off my work surface super quick and then use my distress sprayer to give this a quick little spray of water and I'm going to dab that up with a paper towel and you'll see those white spots and those will blend in and look like snow later on. I'm going to go in one more time and add some more water spots where I didn't think I had enough before. And then I'm going to take some mustard seed distress oxide and I'm very gently going to pounce around that star. Again, like I said, you can pull that up if you're really rough with it with your blending tool. So I'm being super careful um, not to pull up that Molotow masking fluid. And then I'm going in very gently again with that broken china. I don't want a lot of green um, right there where those two colors would blend. And so I'm being very careful with that. And then I'm just going to use my fingers and then my little adhesive eraser or um, <clears throat> a little masking fluid eraser there to clean up where that star was masked off. I'm going to pull out the starry colors, watercolors, and this is from Gonzai Tombi. I never say that correctly, but I am going to add some champagne gold um, watercolors into that clear spot that I masked off for the star. Now, when I started this, I knew I wanted the Christmas star up there in the top. I didn't know um, how I was going to make it work out. And so this is a process that I just kind of went with it as I worked on the card. And when I pulled off that masking fluid and had that white space, I tried to figure out what I was going to do to fill that in. And those starry colors, um, metallic-y, beautiful, shimmery paints were perfect for that. Now I'm pulling out three different types or colors, excuse me, of ink. Now this is that process or the design that I was totally inspired by paper artist and crafter uh, Betsy Veldman. Um, I can link her blog and uh, information below. But she did a winter scene and used an inexpensive little fan brush. This is just a cheapo kids paintbrush and she made the most beautiful trees and I knew that this would be perfect with that honeybee stamps oh come let us adore him stamp and I could do a winter scene with the Christmas star and I was just so inspired by her design and her card that I just had to try it with this um, beautiful stamp from honeybee stamps and so what you do is you hold that fan brush straight up and down to start out with the tippy top of your tree. And then as you come down, you tilt it and you flatten it out. And um, it, it's so easy. Um, I just had to try it. Now, I did try it with a different brush and I do not like the way that this one turned out. I ended up going back to that cheapo little fan brush because it looked um, so much better in the long run. 
Now, you can see there where I'm getting a chalky appearance to the inks. I'm not for sure if that is um, that ink with water or if it is because I first laid down those Distress Oxide inks. Um, as you know, those do turn that chalky, um, kind of milky color when they get wet. So I just went back in with some ink and a, a small little paintbrush and just kind of dabbed it on where I wanted to add more color, where those colors had kind of um, gotten chalky and milky looking. So I add that in. I'm adding some darkness on one side and keeping the light from the star in the middle. And then towards the bottom, you want it kind of sparse, the color, um, because that's where the snow and things are going to be at the bottom of your tree. And then, like I said, you can just leave the bottom of that paper completely colorless because you're going to have your snow down there. So I'm giving that a really good dry and as you can see it didn't turn out perfect. The trees are still a little chalky and so I'm going to add some snow. I tried some snow text on my trees as you can see there to add some texture along with the white color and I didn't like the way that that turned out. So I'm just using some cheapo white uh, craft paint. I uh, wet it down just a little bit. I'm going to flick some over the whole project to look like falling snow and then I'm going to take that good old cheapo little fan brush again and add some more snow onto the leaves uh, or to the limbs of those trees. And you don't want to color this all over. You just want to um, just on the ends of the limbs there where it looks like the snow has just fallen on the limbs of those trees. I'm going to stamp that huge beautiful um, greeting now, the O oh, Come Let Us Adore Him. I made sure that all of that paint was nice and dry and then I used a powder tool. I'm setting this up in my Mini Misty and I'm going to use the Nouveau Clear Mark ink. I love that uh, embossing ink. And I'm going to give that a good smush. Now I did all of that painting on watercolor paper which has some texture to it. And so I really went over that well with my hand to make sure that that Nouveau Clearmark ink got down into the little crevices of that uh, watercolor paper. I'm going to use some Ranger Liquid Platinum um, embossing powder. This is like one of my go-to embossing powders. I love this one for a metallic. It's not gold. It's not silver. It's just a beautiful in-between color. Um, and I'm going to heat set that really well until it's nice and smooth. Now because the paper was textured, like I said, I could have gone over that embossing powder and <clears throat> excuse me, done that a couple of times to make sure that that greeting was nice and smooth and thick, but I didn't. I kind of like the imperfect, um, the glimmer and the way that that embossing powder kind of seeped down into the crevices of the paper. So I just left it. I added that onto some coordinating cardstock that coordinates with that blue sky and added that to a white top folding card base. Here's a close-up look at the beautiful trees and I'll leave Betsy's uh, information below and then all these supplies can be found at honeybeestamps.com. Make sure you check everything out there and I will talk to you guys next time. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.